Hey guys, based on demands and query from friends, I decided to make a quick video about how to remove unwanted objects or text from images. Let's start then. I'm using, since I'm using your game, I'll recommend everyone maybe like I like the game, it's open source software. So that's the best uh, tool I can say to do this uh, small job. So please download GIMP open source, open source software. I'll provide link in description. Once you will launch the application, then open your desired image. Here I am using painted stock image. Front out of focus bird is unwanted in frame. This I'll remove. And the text at upper right corner mentioning like delete me. That as well I'll, I'll show you how to remove. At left upper corner, you will find clone tool. Click on it. Then select the size of tool and opacity which can honor your image. Basically, clone tool job is to pick certain portion of images and apply it on desired location. To pick the portion, go to pick up location of image and click on control plus left key of mouse in windows. I'll take water from here and okay, grass from here and again I'll start applying on the body of the stock. Just a quick check. If you happen to come so far and liking my content, then please do subscribe. It doesn't cost any money and will help this channel to grow and will make sure to update vlogs, documentary and tutorials frequently. You can see here, we have cloned stock bird from adjacent environment. Similar way, we will remove delete me text. We can follow similar approach, but I will take extra care this time. That is, I will make sure that my cloning effect shouldn't cause issue on hello world text. To do that, I'll use tree select tool and mark the area of hello all text and then clicking on select menu, I'll opt for invert. This will make sure that when I'll up this will make sure that when I'll apply clone on delete me text and reason being it is so near to hello all it won't impact. After checking 100% zoom, we can see some color issue near hello all. To correct that, we can use combination of clone tool and smudge tool. Here you can see before and after effect where selecting and deselecting new layer. Once you are satisfied, then flatten the layers and save the image using export as option or override the existing image from file, file menu. That's all everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this video would be helpful and you might have subscribed our channel by now. See you soon with new videos.